I don't exactly know how I'm going to make this video yet, uh, but I do know that I owe you guys an explanation for my lack of uploads recently, so I'm going to do my best to explain things. Uh, right now, I am actually recording this video in the woods. Normally, I would do it in my car because it's too loud in my home. Uh, but if you guys have never sat in a hot car before, it's literally like an oven. Um, it's summer right now and it's really, really hot. And there's not really an effective way to cool the car down because air conditioning is you know, quite loud. And if I leave the windows and doors open, then that creates too much background noise from the road. So I am in the woods right now. And if you guys hear some wind or some birds, you know why. Now, I've been making YouTube videos since March 2018. If you guys have been watching that long, uh, at the start, my videos were literally just music videos. So they were a couple minutes long uh, with a no copyright song injected into them. No talking, just music videos. And to be honest, that's what I enjoyed producing the most. I liked recording them, I liked editing them, I liked watching them back and more than that, I liked being able to share them with people who also enjoyed watching them. Uh, now, if you go back to the first few months of my channel's creation and really up until like May last year, I was putting out a lot of videos, sometimes two or even three uploads a day and pretty much every day as well. I mean, uh, there was one time, I can't remember exactly when, uh, but Stu messaged me online and he said, oh, by the way, do you know you've actually put out a video every day of this month? And I was like, really? What? And it was true. I mean, I was uploading almost every day, sometimes multiple times a day because I loved the content. I loved putting it out there and they were pretty easy to make as well. Now, if you guys have been noticing, the frequency of my uploads has now gone down to just a couple of videos a week and sometimes even just one video a week. And to be perfectly honest, it's because my heart isn't in them anymore. I can't pinpoint the exact moment that making videos went from being a hobby that I did because I loved to something that I now have to force myself to do at least a couple of times a week. You know, uh, quite literally, I used to go back and watch videos that I did months ago because I was proud of my work and I liked watching them back. I can't watch my videos back anymore. I, I don't enjoy them. I don't like recording them. Actually, no, recording them is fine recording them is kind of neutral uh but I, I don't like editing them i don't like doing the voiceovers and i don't like watching them back afterwards and i haven't re-watched a video i've uploaded in a long time and when i say forced i mean i literally have to drag myself down to my car or in this case today down to the woods to record the voiceovers for the video and i'll make up stupid excuses as to why i don't have to do it today it's like for example if I'd been down to the shops earlier. I'd say, oh, I'm too tired to make a video. If I woke up too late that day, I'd say, oh, there's no point. It's too late to make a video now, uh, which is absolute bullshit. <laughs> it sounds stupid when I say it out loud, uh, but those are the excuses I use to allow myself to procrastinate and not make a video. And it's not like I don't have anything to upload. I mean, every week I record like hours and hours of content that is now just sitting there and nothing happens to it. I think the reason that I've lost interest in making videos right now is because my content has changed so much uh, since I started making videos and uh, the, the game kind of really changed in August last year when my channel was approved for monetization. Now up until that point I didn't care about the money that's why I put off monetizing my channel for a long long time and then when I was finally approved uh, there, there were different rules. Uh, one of these rules is the music that I can use in my videos. So uh, you can actually put almost any song you want in a YouTube video, whether that be a copyright song or a non-copyright song. Uh, there are a small uh, portion of copyright songs that are actually blocked. So if you use them in your video, video can't actually be uploaded at all. Uh, but with the majority of copyrighted music, uh, you can upload the video, but you can't make anything off it. The video will be immediately claimed by um, the companies who put out the music, they have an auto claim system. So they'll automatically claim the video and any money you make will go to them. Now you can use a non-copyright music and uh, that's uh, pretty much all Mobile YouTubers use the same songs, all from the uh, non-copyright music YouTube channel and also a lot use Netflix. Uh, what's actually quite funny is a few times I've been accused of stealing music from other YouTubers, which is absolutely crazy because everyone just uses 
music from basically the same two YouTube channels. Uh, but yeah, uh, moving on. So the other thing that has changed since being monetized is the duration of my videos. So before August last year, I could put out videos of any duration I want. Uh, but now all my videos have to be over 10 minutes. And let me just explain why. So if your video is over 10 minutes, you can put mid-roll ads on and the difference in earnings between a video under 10 minutes and a video over 10 minutes, depending on how many ads you put on that video, you can literally ha get four times the revenue. So for all these people who like to go off at me for putting the occasional 40 second black screen at the end of some of my videos to get it to 10 minutes, it it's not like I'm doing it for an extra few bucks. It's literally quadrupling the earnings that that video will make which I really don't see a problem with. And a lot of other people don't care either, which is great. People in the comments are already gonna be like, he only cares about the money. Uh, but I hate to break this to you, but this game is not cheap at all. Troops don't replace themselves. Gear doesn't upgrade itself. And to be able to keep producing videos where I'm losing a lot of troops, the videos themselves need to turn some kind of profit. And this is the same for practically every YouTuber. If our videos aren't turning a profit, then, you know, a lot of us wouldn't be able to keep losing the amount of troops that we do for you guys, for, you, for your entertainment. What's crazy is there are actually a few people on the video that I uploaded talking about what happened when my account was hacked, uh, who were angry at me for not deleting all my XRX uh, videos like I said I thought about doing. Uh, I didn't end up doing that because, you know, I still need the money from those videos and they were angry that I needed the money from the videos. They must not understand how A, the game works and B, YouTube works, because again, <laughs> this game isn't cheap. So my couple minute long music videos were no longer financially viable. So I had to change up my content and I started doing music videos that were over 10 minutes long. Now, with no copyright music, a lot of it is very bad. There are only like, out of the whole, um, no copyright sounds uh, channel. There are only maybe like half of the songs there I, I, that sound okay enough to use in a video. Actually, half is quite generous. I'd say the majority of the songs on that channel are not good enough to be used in a video. I don't like the way that those songs sound, so I don't feel comfortable putting them in the video. And that kind of limits my choices. And when you're doing uh, these 10 minute videos with it literally just music with some videos in them, you end up having to use the same songs again and again, uh, which a lot of people don't like. I've had a lot of comments about that before. Uh, they don't like the frequency in which I reuse certain songs, uh, but I didn't really have a choice because the alternative was just literally just trash music. So then about two months ago, I swapped to doing voiceovers uh, and uh, that was good in certain ways because it meant that I didn't care about the music I could put in because the music is literally just on 20% volume while my voice takes over the majority of the video. And so I can reuse the same song as much as I like and no one really cares because the music is barely audible. But the problems with voiceovers is that a lot of the time I, I have to waffle for 10 minutes. I have got to repeat stuff to make up time and uh, the end result is I often have to put in those extra, you know, 20 to 40, even one time, one minute long black screen to boost that video to 10 minutes because I honestly can't talk for 10 minutes about literally the same subject. And this makes the whole editing of uh, voice recording and uploading and rewatching process quite unpleasant for me because in the end, I'm just sitting there cringing for 10 minutes watching the video back, cringing for maybe an hour, trying to waffle for 10 minutes about the same subject. And it's just made me not want to do this anymore. If money was my main driving factor, then I would still be putting out videos almost every day. Cause like I said, I still have a ton of content, un unedited content to upload. I just don't ever get around to doing it. Uh, but no, I, I literally only upload a couple of times a week now and that's for you guys because I still want to be able to provide you guys with content uh, but the fact is that right now is I'm not enjoying the content that I'm putting out and to be fair some of the content I am putting out right now is somewhat controversial I know that not everyone agrees with 
spying and the hitting your own kingdom during KVK thing and the tile hitting thing, which yeah, I do occasionally, you know, it's, it's actually quite fun. Uh, and to that I say, well, it is a war game and people get way too offended by someone using measures and, well, features implemented by the makers of the game to attack people. Like, I, I've, always pl I've always played Wars Mobile with the energy that, you know, it's a war game, so anything goes. Uh, but some of the mails I get for tile hitting is quite interesting. I'm going to show you guys a couple of these mails, and honestly, people just get so offended over, like, literally just being attacked in a war game. If you are going to be offended about being attacked in a war game, why did you download it in the first place? That has always been my energy. At the end of the day, it's a game, and you can play it how you want. And there, there's an attack button on a tile for a reason, guys. I do hate to break that to you, but there's an attack button on the tile for a reason. And, you know, people who get all the kills from solo, sorry, from uh, tile hitting, I think that is quite sad. But that's not me. There are literally videos of me getting tens of millions of kills from real solo targets. And what's actually absolutely hilarious is that you hit one tile and suddenly everyone mails you saying, oh, all your kills must be from tile hitting. You have no balls. And the reaction is just pretty funny. And that's why I do it, because... I find that kind of reaction absolutely hilarious, and the males are really funny. And I just want to say, don't worry guys, I'm absolutely not quitting YouTube. It's just that right now, I'm not enjoying the stuff I'm putting out, so I'll probably make changes to that. Uh, but in the meantime, I will continue to upload the same kind of videos, probably with a higher frequency now, uh, because I'm starting to go to the woods to do voiceovers. Uh, the, the hot car thing kind of reduced some of my uploads as well uh, so i'll be able to make more videos now and uh thank you guys for listening to this video hope you understand what i'm trying to say i'll see you guys next time